Let's work on the snow jet today. Well, hopefully you saw the intro video where I got the snow jet and the RXL both in the same day. And uh, you know from that that this thing needs some work. Obviously, we got no spark on the motor, so I got to work on that. But uh, I got other issues too. So the track, the track is basically crap on this. I got to figure out what I'm going to do for a track swap. And uh, the seat, well, you can see I cut those ratchet straps off that were holding the seat on. And all I got is a pile of wet, rusty plywood under here. So we'll get that cleaned up and uh, we'll see how the tunnel looks. Um, this toolbox has got to go. Um, I want to put a gas tank right up here in the tunnel. I'd like to put like a TX seat behind it or something. I don't know. Um, that's where I'm going with it. So let me start out by getting this mess cleaned up here and uh, we'll bring you back, show you how the tunnel looks. All right, well, been stripping her down a little. Tunnel's not too bad. Nothing a good wire brush and some fresh paint couldn't fix. Uh, looks like some room in there. I'm gonna start slapping parts on it and let's see where this goes. All right, well, that was a pretty easy decision. Uh, this is a five gallon tank off like a 74 TX maybe, I don't know. Uh, doesn't fit the 76 and up. Uh, first I tried this old seat, you know, and of course I'd recover it if I was going to use it, but uh, too long, way too long. So then I stuck this XCR seat on there and everything's looking better. In fact, I can even have some clearance to the engine so it doesn't rub on the fuel tank. Uh, I think I'm liking this. So I think this thing's getting an XCR seat. And of course that plastic tank. All right, giving her a giving her a little test fit. It's not bad. So um, the gas tank can't quite center because where the pickup comes out would rub on the motor. But I got decent clearance here, and you know doesn't really overhang the tunnel too bad. That's all good. Um, I could ride like this, or could stick my feet up here and ride like this, and this is really good. Gets a guy right in the pocket on this XCR seat. So that's all good. So uh, this is gonna work. Now, I am gonna probably still end up shortening the XCR seat just a little so that I can use this back bumper. I don't know if you can see that. I do want it about an inch forward from there, but uh, you know, I'll handle that when I'm recovering it, but I don't want it like, I, I don't want to render that back bumper unusable. It's too good for track stands and just generally lifting the sled around. Pizza time. Thanks patrons. Uh, today's selection is a chicken Alfredo. If it looks reheated, it's because I ate half of it yesterday when I was editing videos, using up the other half today. Really appreciate you patrons. Okay, I'm out here trying to figure out my track options for this snow jet, and uh, I guess first I'll show you why I'm trying to figure out options. So this track has seen its better days. It's got all kinds of tears coming in from the edge, basically at every spot. And if I flip around this side, uh, you can see there's these metal bars inside the track, and there's clips. A lot of the clips are missing and coming off, and uh, it generally looks pretty rotten. So there's a, there's a good crack right there that I would think would start to tear in from the edge pretty quick. Yeah, that already is. So um, I, I don't know that I think this track would go uh, 20 miles. Now, the drivers are actually seem flexible. I mean, I'm bending them right there with my fingers, if you could see that, which is surprising because the uh, snow jet drivers are legendary for shattering. But uh, I don't know may not end up with snow jet drivers. So I counted the windows on the track, 58 windows. And uh, I tried to figure out the pitch and uh, it is, so this thing is from Canada, right? Glastron is from Quebec, I believe. 
And uh, so it makes sense that it would be a metric pitch, 50 millimeters. And if I go to 50.8, which is two inch pitch, like a skedaddler might have, um, it looks like it's a little long. So my, my eyeball conclusion here is that this is a 58 window by 58 by a 58 window by 50 millimeter pitch or 1.97 inch pitch uh, track. In other words, it's a match for a skidoo. So uh, I think I've solved my issue. I think this thing's getting a skidoo track and some skidoo drive wheels. Well, it just keeps adding up. I mean, this is going to be one full project on this snow jet. So uh, I don't know if this will come out on camera, but it totally oiled down the secondary when I had it tipped up on its side. So whatever uh, seal in there, whatever's supposed to be in there on those bearings, it's not sealing. And uh, that's no good because that's the brake that runs right on the secondary. Oh yeah, and it even got the belt. So uh, this is shaping up to be quite a project, but I did just go order a skidoo track for the thing. So uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm committed at this point. Well, as you can see, I've been picking away at the sled. You know, it's a beautiful afternoon, and uh, I'm enjoying working outside in the spring weather. Got the motor loose. Going to get those brackets I don't need off the tunnel. And uh, just keep picking away at it. I don't know. It's a, it's a great way to spend a Sunday afternoon. All right, so I knocked off this bracket. That bracket was just holding on those two fiberglass covers that were here. Um, the one on this side kind of looked like it might have been intended to be a clutch guard, but by no means was it strong enough to be a clutch guard. So we'll be making a real steel clutch guard structure over here that might actually protect a person. The one on the other side, just cosmetic, kind of in the way. Um, you know, we're going to do one long racing with this sled and extra parts are just things to fall off or distract you when you're racing. So better off without those. Uh, also nipped off these little brackets that were for the original snow jet seat. Don't know where it was and it'll never be going back on the sled again since we're going to do the XCR seat and the plastic gas tank on this thing. So uh, that's about it for today. Obviously, there's going to be a bunch of future episodes coming up when we do that seat, that gas tank, when we do the track swap, get spark on that motor again. we got a long ways to go until this thing's ready for some one long racing, but we'll get there, so stay tuned. Um, so big thanks to the patrons. Um, patrons help out the channel with a little donation every month that goes to support us with pizza and beer and spark plugs and parts, and uh, we really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you didn't know... The patrons get to see all the videos early and ad-free on Patreon. Of course, they get their names up on the screen. And they also get uh, patron-only videos over on Patreon. So it's kind of a good deal for everybody there. Hopefully they get something extra out of those videos. I know we enjoy making them. Uh, everybody else, if you want to support the channel, there's more comments down there in the, in the uh, description and whatever on how you can support us. Um, Otherwise, if you could just hit subscribe and hit the notification bell, well, we'd really appreciate that. We're, we are still trying to grow the channel, and uh, that's the best way to grow it is by having people hit that subscribe button. So uh, with that said, I guess we'll see you at the swap meets.